Hey guys, welcome to Afro 10. Today we'll be talking about the most respected kings in Nigeria. From the beginning of time, traditional rulers have always been the closest to the people. They bring peace, orderliness, opportunities, and so much more to the people. And in return, they have earned the love and respect of the people. Before we start, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification. Coming at number 10 is Olubando of Ibadan. Oba Moshu's Olalekon Balogun. He is the 42nd Oba of Ibadan. He was born on 18 October 1942. He was a presidential aspirant on the platform of the Social Democratic Party. He was also a gubernatorial candidate for the People's Democratic Party. In addition to this, he was a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in the Fourth Republic. Balogo had earlier worked as a lecturer at the Amadou Bello University, Zaria, and editor of the Monthly Magazine. He also worked with Shell British Petroleum Company. Balogun, who was Otun, Otun Olubadon of Ibadan Land, which is one of the two most senior chiefs in Ibadan Land. He was currently the 42nd Olubando of Ibadan by Governor Shein Makinde of Oyo State on 11 March 2022. He has been described as an unprecedented Ibadan king who is capable of attracting unprecedented development to Nigeria's largest city because he is the first accomplished educationalist, successful politician, seasoned administrator, and well exposed personality to ascend the exalted throne. At number 9 is the Obi of Onisha, Igwe Una Meka Alfred Ogochuku Achibe. He was born on the 14th of May 1941 and he is the 21st Obi of Onisha in Anambra State. He has been the Chancellor of Amadubelo University since 2015 and was earlier Chancellor of Kogi State University. Ashibe also serves as a Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Unilever Nigeria and the Chairman of the International Bureaus in Nigeria. Before emerging as the Obi of Onisha in 2002, he had a long and distinguished career in the Royal Dutch Shell Group serving as the Director in various companies in the group. Ashibe worked briefly in the United States before he returned to Nigeria in 1972 after the Nigerian Civil War and began work with Shell Petroleum Company. Besides his long tenure as director of Shell Nigeria, he was also a director of several other companies in the United Kingdom, Netherlands, Ghana, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Gambia, Liberia, and Angola. At number 8 is the Dean of Agbo, Benjamin Kiabori Kuzi Ikeshuku Benoba. He was named the world's youngest crown monarch in the 1980 edition of the Guinness Book of World Records. He was the Chancellor of the University of from 2006 to 2015. He schooled in Europe and is an officer of the Order of the Crown of Belgium and at the same time the Vice Chairman of the Delta State Traditional Rulers Council. His name, Kiabo Rikuzi, can be translated to mean what will the people of Agbo say now? Shedding more light on the long wait for a male child and the peculiarity of his coronation. The sudden death of his own father threw the community into anxiety and confusion who barely knew what was going on. But tradition was followed and he was crowned the Dean of Agbo in 19. 79. Thereafter, he went abroad while a regent was appointed to rule in his place until he came back in 2001 to take over as the paramount ruler of Agbo people in one of the most memorable events in the history of Nigeria. Coming at number 7 is the Olu of Wari Ogiame Otuashe the Third. He was born on the 2nd of April 1984. He is the paramount ruler of the kingdom of Wari and the 21st Olu of Wari. He was born Otiyen Yorishe Shola Emiko to the 19th king of the Wari kingdom. He is also a descendant of Olu Akira. King Boa. Ogiame Otuashe the Third is a serial entrepreneur. He is the founder of the Noble Nigerian Limited and Coral Curator Limited. He is the chairman of Ocean Marine Security Limited and a director of Gulf of Guinea Limited and Vasalink Nigeria Limited. He worked as an officer at the Shell Nigerian Close to Pension Fund Administrator and Sahara Energy as a government relations officer. In October 2022, he was awarded Nigerian National Honor of Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic by President Muhammadu Boa. At number 6 is the Oba of Lagos, Oba Rewon Babatunde Oshuolale Aremu Akionlu. He was born on the 29th of August 1943 and he is the 21st Oba of Lagos. Historically, Lagos has been a center for power and politics. The Oba of Lagos, though having no political power, with so much political and traditional influence in Nigeria. The Yoruba land is one with so much reverence for their costumes and values. The Oba of Lagos being the chief custodian. In May of 2003, Akionlu was selected by the kingmakers of the Lagos traditional kingdom and confirmed by the Lagos state government as the 21st Oba of Lagos. He was crowned on the 9th August 2003. After high school, he served for 32 years in the Nigerian police force upon entering the force in 1970. He served in various capacities, was promoted to assistant inspector general of police in 1999 and was active until his retirement in 2002. He is a member of the Nigerian Institute of Management and a fellow of the Nigerian Law School. If you have 
you enjoyed the video so far, please hit the subscribe button. Coming at number 5 is the Oba of Benin, Oba Eware II. The Benin Kingdom is one with the most preferred traditional leadership position in Nigeria. Preceded by his father, Erejuwa Eware II assumed the throne as the 39th Oba of Benin. He was born on the 20th of October 1953 and he assumed the throne on 20th October 2016. Oba Eware II is of utmost political relevance in Edo state and in Nigerian politics. Since he assumed power, he has facilitated the demand and return of some historical and cultural bronzes which had been taken by the British government in their country. His spiritual influence and value for building customs and tradition is overwhelming and places the kingship on a high pedestal, just like his predecessors. He worked at the United Nations between 1981 and 1982. He also served as Nigerian ambassador to Angola and Sweden with accreditation to Norway, Denmark and the Republic of Finland. He was also Nigerian's ambassador to Italy. At number 4 is the Oini of Ife, Oba Adeyeye and Eton Ogunusi. The Oini of Ile Ife is another most referred and powerful kingship position in Nigeria. He is the 51st Oini of Ife. Oba Adeyeye was born on 26th of October 1974. The reign of Adeyeye as the Oini of Ife began following his coronation on the 7th December 2015. Oba Adeyeye is a shattered accountant and an honorary doctorate degree holder from the University of Nigeria, Unsuka and Igbe India University in public administration and law respectively. He is the Chancellor of the University of Unsuka. Obadeye is renowned for being a philanthropist and a liberalist, having brought transformation and cultural development to Ileife. At number 3 is the Emir of Zazao, also known as Zariam Emirate, Ahmed Nuhul Bamali. He was born on the 8th of June 1966. He is a lawyer, banker and diplomat. He is a former Nigerian ambassador to Thailand with concurrent accreditation to Myanmar and currently the 19th Fulani Emir of Zazao. He is the first Emir from the Malawa ruling house to be enthroned in a century after the demise of his grandfather, Emir Aludan Sidi, in 1920. His subjects are devoted to him and are also ready to attack anyone who talks bad about him. He has proven himself to be the king of the people and his people are proud to call him their king. At number 2 is the Sultan of Sokoto, Muhammadu Said Abubakar. He is the 20th Sultan of Sokoto. Muhammadu Said Abubakar was born, was born on the 24th August. 1956 and he ascended the throne as the Sultan of Sokoto on 2nd November 2006. Prior to his ascension to the throne, he served in the Nigerian army from 1977 to 2006 up to the ranks of Brigadier General. His exploit in the ministry was a resounding one, having headed vital units in the course of his service. He is also the spiritual leader of the Muslims in the northern part of Nigeria. Finally, at number one is the Emir of Kanu, Amino Addo Bayiru. The Emir of Kanu is the most respected in Nigeria. After the deposition of his nephew, Muhammad Sanusi II, Aminu Adobayiru ascended the throne as the 15th Emir of Kanu on the 19th March 2020. He equally became the Chancellor of the University of Calabar following his ascension to the throne. He was born February 10th, 1961 and he is the 15th Emir of Kanu. So if you enjoyed the video, kindly click the subscribe button and like, then click on the end screen by your left to watch the richest kings in Nigeria.